You know, reading lines on a sheet of music is a whole different thing than reading lines of a budget. But the two actually came together in Ellicott City tonight. Yeah, families pick up and move to Howard County, Maryland, for its schools. And parents there are hoping those schools won't end up getting less next year. Dozens lined up right in front of the county building playing their instruments to push for school funding. WMAR 2 News Jack Watson was there tonight. Jack. Hey, Jamie, students and parents hope they hit all the right notes with the county officials tonight, pushing for third grade strings to stay for one and for increased funding for their schools. The A majors and F sharps of Pachelbel's canon ring out in Ellicott City. We decided to form what we know best, which is music. Ginger Sagala is a mom in the school system for 20 years, convening this talented young orchestra in front of the Howard County Government Building. Sagala tells me third grade strings here are a gold standard in the state. Music is the most important subject to us and we want to make sure that the county council understands how many people support the music programs. Among the cuts in a March proposal from the Board of Education were gifted and talented in third grade strings, except in schools where 40% or more students receive free or reduced meals. Last week, County Executive Calvin Ball presented his budget proposal, saying it would restore those programs. Importantly, this funding creates pathways to restore key educational programs that are valued by our community. His proposal puts just over $766 million in county funding in the school system. The school board asks for just shy of $770 million. There is still time for the actual number to change in the next few weeks. Proceedings After the SNAP concert on Wednesday night, the crowd shuffled into the council chambers, bringing with them signs and support in front of the board. I've played violin all my life. Um, my wife's a teacher in, in the school system, and it's always been like the family business to us. Anthony DeBella's son was in third grade strings and says it supports higher achievement in other areas. And, and really, um, this isn't about any one program. Uh, this is about making sure that the school system is fully funded to their needs. With weeks left to put the budget in harmony, they hope this music strikes a chord with county leaders. Well, the Howard County government and the school board still have time to get a final budget across. The full county budget will get the okay from the county council on or before June 1st.